Well, hello there, everybody. It is I, Dr. Dre, and welcome to my totally normal science lab. I'm not making maps of mutant creatures to take over the world. No, that wouldn't be something I would ever do. Welcome back to Creature Lab, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't remember, we checked out the demo for this game about a year ago now, and I was blown away by it. If you've ever wanted to be a mad scientist, this is the perfect game for you. It's so in-depth, and I'm so excited to get into it. Uh, this is the release of the game, by the way. So, yeah, we're going to get right into it, and, uh, well, we have to make a creature right now so we may as well do that but before that i should probably explain what's going on here what's the premise of it long story short we are obviously a mad scientist we are looking for five research papers around the map to build the perfect mutant elixir to take over the world essentially we're trying to make zombies problem is we have military that are looking for me right now and as we go about exploring the world uh they will get more and more military attention and at the end of the game, well, either the military is going to find me or I'm going to find the elixir that I need to build a zombie army. And uh, yeah, only one way to find out if what's going to happen, and that's by getting into it and making our first creature. So let's waste no time, get into our storage area, and check out what type of bodies we got today. All right, so it looks like we start with three different bodies. That is it. All these other ones are emptied. That's what the um, green buttons mean. And I think I'm going to go for Mr. Muscles over here. And uh, this should be a great first test subject. So we're going to bring him over and actually make him into a creature now. Right now, he's just a boring human. So let's change that. We're going to put him in this thing. Oops, no, I don't want to open that just yet. I want to open it up and drop this bad boy in here. And now we need to make a mutagen to inject into his uh, body. So let's look at our... St oh, okay. Um, so I skipped the tutorial, and I guess it automatically ID'd all these for me. You'll start understanding more of what I'm talking about later in the game. Um, but yeah, usually we have to ID to find what molecules are in each ingredient. We actually have unlocked a, bu a bunch of them already. Is this a mutagen here? I believe with if you do this tutorial, you do get one mutagen. So we may as well just take that one instead of making our own right now. I just got to find it right now. Oh, actually, I forgot. I can open up the Mixturepedia and I can ID it by clicking the pin button. And there it is right there. I would have never found that. It's in a small beaker. Okay, so yeah, long story short, the goal is to make these mutagens by mixing things together. And each molecule gives unique attributes to the zombies. That's what those little emblems are. They're specific molecules. You don't know what every molecule does until you experiment and, well, put them in test subjects and figure out what stats they increase, essentially. But yeah, long story short, we pour it into the container here. I do see that there's two containers, so could I fill this with elixirs? I should explain what mutagens and elixirs are. Mutagens are four molecules. Elixirs are two. You obviously need two elixirs to make a mutagen, and then we have ordinary ingredients, which are one molecule. But yeah, I don't know if you can infect these guys with two mutagens, maybe, or use elixirs to combine. Anyways, I'm getting way ahead of myself. The game is a little in-depth at the start, so if you're confused, it's okay. It should all start making sense soon. All right, so we got to access the body panel, and we need to fill it with the mutagen that we installed in here. And then we're going to initialize it, and that is going to go through the body's, well, bloodstream. And if that mutagen was a good one, we should have a mutant in here now. And indeed, we do... And now, I mean, this is a very basic mutant, but we can send him out to do jobs for us if we do want to. So we're going to store him in this uh, storage vat, and that will fill with liquid uh, in typical, you know, mad scientist fashion, and he'll just float there. By the way, I don't have a flashlight in this game. It's just extremely dark in here. I mean, it is a mad science lab. It should be dark and gloomy. So yeah, that is a very basic mutant. We can actually access the panel, and I don't know how to see his stats. It's probably in my Creaturepedia. So yeah, so we can see the type of stats uh, this mutant has. Uh, so it really is a stealth-based mutant. So that mutagen that I made, I guess, focused on stealth uh, attributes. Regardless, this should be a great first mutant. Let's send him out on a mission. It wants me to go to a hospital right now. So I will do that. Let's just open up my totally normal desk. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a mad scientist in this game. I love the premise of this game, man. It's so cool. Uh, but yeah, it wants me to go to... What did it say? A hospital. Uh, obviously, that's the hospital. So we'll open up that. We're going to start a mission. And we are going to put the only creature I have on this mission. That's what the plus is for. Now, you can do different things here. You can acquire new bodies if we run out of those. You can spread panic, which essentially panic will keep the military busy and them off my heels. So if the military is starting to bother me more and more, I can spread panic and then they're going to be busy, you know, with riots and whatnot. You can fight the military here as well if you do want to. I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm still very much learning as I go. Uh, but what we want right now is to acquire more substances. The more substances we have, the more mutagens we can get. 
Um, and yeah, we just need to acquire all the substances right now. It's clear to me that the unlightened masses of simpletons will never appreciate my genius if I don't force them to. If I can animate and control the dead, then surely I can find a way to control the living. Creating a substance for that purpose will be challenging even for me. I require information not available to the public. To obtain it, I need a stronger creature. All right, so we're kind of on our own until we get a stronger creature. And with that first mission, it upped the panic to two and the investigation uh, up only by one. So the investigation bar is over here. Essentially, once this bar reaches 100%, it goes to two. Uh, then the military gets harder and harder, and then it goes to three, four, five. You get the idea. Once it's at the max of five, I believe they attack my base. So we want to keep this investigation as low as possible while we're collecting resources and terrorizing the city. All right, so now that we did that, we can actually increase our mutants by changing their limbs around. So we're going to do that, assuming we have the ingredients that we need. I don't actually know what we put in this mutant, so we need to find out because uh, to make a limb, we need the same molecules as in what's inside the mutant. So we'll put him on this for the time being, but I do actually have to check that. Let's go to my mixtures here, and we filled him with this mutagen. So we need all four of these molecules. I have uh, the one, which is Void Cinnamon. The rest, wow, I don't have any of the other ones. So we're going to have to venture out and find all these different molecules so I can actually make this mutagen so I can make the limb, because I need the same mutagen in the limb, and I have no more of those mutagens in storage as you can see by the zero here. I know this game's a little confusing at the start. I'm sorry, but essentially what we want to do right now is get the rest of these symbols so we can make this mutagen again. So I need to go to the map. We're going to actually bring this guy back to the storage because I can only send them out when they're in these panels. So what we're looking for, we already have the void cinnamon. We need Desiltro, Emoli, and Tolclodier. <laughs> God, these names. I said all of those wrong, I know. All right, so I'm going to head out. Where am I right now? Is this, this is the right way? Perfect. I'm going to head out and look for areas that have those molecules. Anything that doesn't have uh, an emblem, by the way, or something I haven't ID'd yet, so that will be a unique molecule as well. So I believe it was Toclaudia is what I needed, so we're going to do a mission for that. And same as before, we just want to acquire more substances, add our little dude, and he should be fine. These are very easy at the start. Uh, so yeah, this is the fight sequence, by the way. Fighting is very basic in this game. Uh, that also upgraded up my investigation just a little bit. Not much. And we got 10 of the total years that we needed. So now we can see how we ID these things. Because uh, the game already ID'd every ingredient that I had at the start of this game. But now we shouldn't have the Toclaudier ID'd. So if we find it in here... Uh, perfect. Right here, you can see there's no symbol on it. So I need to actually extract this to see what's inside of it. So we put it here. Put it in the syringe and put the syringe in the microscope and then we analyze this by doing science and by science i mean scrolling these bars around until it's successful and there we go we have the molecule that we needed so there's two out of the four that we need okay and this one has the final ingredient that we need a moly which all it also has another ingredient that we don't have so hopefully we get lucky and find both of those ingredients because that would be great the more substances we have the easier it's going to be later on and one final mission. Do we get the emoli that we need? Indeed, we got a little bit of everything. Wow, we got a lot of that second ingredient that I haven't ID'd. So perfect. All right, and there we go. We're on day five. By the way, every time I go out on a mission, it takes a, a full day. So that's how days go by in this game as you do missions. All right, so let's go ID those new mixtures. Okay, and there we go. The final one's been ID'd. Now I just have to combine all these together. So I'm going to bring all the ones that we need over here. Emoli... Um, to Claudier, and then we can just pin Desiltro to find it easily. I really like that they added this pin feature, because before they didn't have this when I played the demo. And it was a nightmare after you start collecting an insane amount of ingredients. I mean, we just started the game, and look at this place already. This is insane. All right, so we got that, and then what else do we need? Uh, Void Cinnamon, I don't think is the one that we got. Void Cinnamon, yeah. Okay, so we'll go to Mixture, pin Void Cinnamon, which we have 18 of. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, and now we got all of our basic ingredients. So now we take two of the ingredients to make an elixir. Doesn't matter which two, they're all going to be combined into one anyways. And there we go. Okay, there we go. We got the two elixirs. Obviously combine those together now, and then we'll get the mutagen that we need. All right, and while that's burning, let's get our zombie set up. I believe he's still in storage. All right, big guy, you go on the table here. I still haven't figured out what limb I want to make with him, but... We have the elixir that we need to make it. So we'll put that here, and I believe we just pour it in here, right? Actually, I need to upgrade his, or I need to 
bring his DNA over first, I believe. Let me just check. Load last DNA sequence. Yeah, I don't have any known DNA samples, so I believe... Let's just do this right. I believe I need to take his DNA first. So come here, big guy. Let's take DNA. We put him into this machine. There you go. This can also give him uh, temporary buffs by injecting different liquids into his, well, lung, stomach, or liver. I'm, I'm not going to do that yet because it's quite complex, but yeah, we just need his DNA. So where, how do I do this? Oh yeah, there we go. Take DNA sample. There we go. That's been successful. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Now it should be on my other computer as well. And indeed, we have creature number one on this. And now we got to decide what kind of limb we want. So certain limbs, it's actually quite cool. You need pairs to get basically special abilities. So for example, if I get two frog legs, I get slower attacks, less vulnerability to being targeted though. Um, so that's essentially like a big tank creature. We have dino legs, which give nothing, oddly enough. I think I'm going to go for hoof legs, uh, which will allow me to do fast attacks. We need a pair, though, so it's not going to work with just one. But we'll do one for right now, because that's the only elixir that I have. So we'll replace the, we'll replace the water with the mutagen. And I believe we're ready to incubate that leg. Indeed, we are. Now, if I have enough ingredients, I'm going to make the other leg as well today, since we have two of these things. All right, and I had more than enough to make an another one. So we are going to make the left and right. And we are now growing some limbs inside these chambers. Oh, God. All right, so now we just need to wait a day and those should be grown. How are our limbs doing? It looks like they came out just fine. So let's get our mutant on the table uh, so we can get his speedy legs installed. Come here, big guy. Are you excited for this? I know I am. We finally get into the mad science part of this. So... First of all, we need to take some legs off. So we will remove that, remove that, start that process. And now you'll have a real leg up on the on the competition, buddy. There you go. I'll feed this to my worm friend. There you go, buddy. And he eats it. Oh my God. That's the best trash can I've ever seen in a game. All right. But yeah, you're not going to need those anymore. At least hopefully this is going to be awkward if you do need them for whatever reason. All right. So leg one or hoof one, I guess, technically. There you go. Put it on the table. <laughs> This game is just so great, in my opinion. I just... When it comes to, like, creating creatures limb by limb, it's just hilarious to me. There we go. Limbs are in place. Now we just need to attach said limbs. And bam! You're now a speedy boy. All right. So, yeah, we got some big legs. Now we just need some arms on this guy. We might actually want to do that right now. We can obviously get more creatures as well, though, which is kind of uh, tempting. All right, yeah, screw it. Let's get one more mutant. We'll get a basic mutant down. Uh, I'm just going to take whoever and come join my other friend, sir. We're going to just make a very basic one right now. So we'll throw you in there. Again, I have no idea what each substance does yet. I haven't really had the time to experiment much. So we're just going to take some random substances and combine them together. All right, so yeah, we're using all new molecules. So I need to put this down here. Same as the other thing, except it does it all at once, I believe. Uh, science. Isn't it fun, kids? There we go. And out pops a brand new mutagen. Unknown number 10. I can change the names of these, by the way. All right, so being that we don't know what's in this, I mean, technically we do, but the game doesn't. I guess when you mix it together, we need to put this sample on here, and we should see all four ingredients once we analyze, and then it's going to go into my Mixerpedia. Uh, so I know how to make it again because I'm going to forget. All right, so there we go. We got high complexity, high reactivity. Um, it doesn't actually explain what each thing does. It just, it's just, it's highly complex. That's got to be a good thing, right? I hope it's good because it's going into my second mutant. So let's get this installed into him. Installed in. That feels weird saying that. There we go. Nice and bright. That means it's good, right? Here, here you go, worm. Enjoy some glass. All right, close, and assuming I did everything correctly, we just need to fill with mutagen, and we've seen this before, initialize, and blammo, we have our second mutant. How you doing? Yeah, you look a little more bloody, buddy. Uh, I want to actually see his stats. I'm excited to see that, so we'll throw you in the second chamber. There you go. It's your new home, buddy. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to do it in the Creaturepedia. So now we have a creature number two. Interesting. Well, that's not very good, is it? All we have is stealth, which is kind of a good thing, being that we're focused so much on stealth. But look at the attribute difference. So I'm not going to be using that mutagen again, uh, just because it gave my guy hardly any stats. Now, the legs might have helped a bit with these stats. But yeah, this creature sucks in comparison. All right, that's fine. It's still going to be a powerful creature, just not as good as my first one. Uh, okay, so I guess what we should do now 
is try and find any resources that we haven't collected yet just to collect them to the database here like galaxy we'll do a mission to collect that now we can add more than one creature but do we want to i guess we should because every um one of these missions takes a full day so we may as well use my full fleet uh for those missions so acquire more substances now i'm curious to see do we gain more resources if we have more creatures grabbing things i don't know should be an easy mission though there's not much in my way and look at that we got wow we got like 40 different things just with that one run so i think we are gaining more resources the more mutants we have all right so yeah we're gonna go for this snowy and we are going to oh gather research paper the, the research paper is actually here well i guess we'll do that instead because that's the main part of the um story here so we can get our first research paper that is huge also, probability, probability of detection is 100%, so obviously pretty important we collect this. The degree of danger is through the roof. Should I do this? All right, good luck. I'm sorry if I killed you. I just really want to get this research paper. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. That's not... That is not... Okay, this is... Oh, 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 oh! We're coming back! We're coming back! Oh, we are really hurt, but that's okay. I can heal these guys. Oh, that scared me at the start when I wasn't moving the bar at all. They need to slow down that fight sequence because it'd be good to watch. All right. Well, I, I very much almost killed my strong creature. As you can see, he's got 16 health. I got really lucky there. <gasps> oh, and I got my first mutagen paper. So that's one out of the five that we need. Investigation has been drastically increased because of that. They clearly don't like me anymore. All right. Now it wants me to drink an elixir with certain molecules in it for whatever reason. Not really sure why, but hey, if you tell me to drink some, I'll do it. I don't care. Do I have everything that I need? I need this symbol, which is the reverse of that symbol. I don't actually even have that one. So good start. We need to find whatever that symbol is first. And then we need another symbol. Do we have any of those ones? We have options for that one, at least. And indeed, I believe we do have that one. But we need to find the blue symbol or the blue molecule. So I guess right now it's all about exploring. We also probably want to add some limbs to our dudes uh, just to make them a little bit stronger. I also need to heal my one guy for sure. Actually, yeah, we need to do that before I even send them out. Uh, so let's heal. Just realized I have an ingredient here that I forgot to ID. This is what happens when you don't ID them. They just sit there forever. Be funny if this is the ingredient that I need. I doubt it, but you never know. Come on, we're so close. And... <laughs> it is it. Oh my god. The chances of that. There is so many ingredients in this damn list. So that is what we needed. Uh, I still need to heal my dude anyway. So I'm going to heal that. But yeah, we're going to use that to pour into a cup with... Actually, we, let's just do that now because I have that right here. So we need both of these in there. And then we drink it for fun because I'm a mad scientist. And of course, I have to test the mixture before I put it in someone else. All right. So there we go. Okay. We have unknown number 11 poured into my coffee cup because drinking it out of a beaker, that wouldn't be fancy. All right. And whoa. <laughs> that was some good stuff, man. Uh, what the hell was that? Chain arm unlocked. My last experiment was spect a spectacular success. The next part should be easy. I have intel that my beloved Clementine is held captive by the government's henchmen at a place called the Asylum. Her brilliant mind will aid me in my efforts to create the ultimate mutagen. I should prepare more creatures before I break her out. I cannot risk failure. Okay, well, for whatever reason, drinking that has moved me on to the storyline. So we need to make a new creature for that. Uh, we'll worry about that later. First of all, I want to heal my creature. I believe you go in there. There you go. Yummy yums. Here you go, worm. Enjoy the glass again. And it is nourishment time. Why did that not heal that much? Oh, God. I don't even have enough of the one ingredient to do more of those. So I believe you can heal with whatever the hell you want. So I'm just going to get something that I have a lot of. I wonder if I can just use a basic mixture as well. So, for example, can I put Tocladia in there? I believe it at least needs to be an elixir. I could be wrong, though. Let's just try it and see what happens. Yeah, it's not even letting me put it in. So I believe I do need mutagens. I might only need elixirs as well. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to get rid of some of my bigger amounts of ingredients. Maybe I put the wrong ingredient in that? I don't know. That's that's that, that was weird that that didn't work. Oh yeah, I can pour this in. So I do need elixirs. Let's see how much this heals. All right, here you go. Be nourished. Okay, so yeah, that did a little bit. Actually, not much more or less than the other one. So we may as well just make basic elixirs, I guess. Well, this is my final Dezilltro, uh, so I'm going to need this. I'm doing one more of the mutagens that are specific to the creature that I'm trying to heal. Hopefully, it heals a bit more, because I'm very confused why it's not healing as much as it, maybe it should. All right, so we have the good mutagen in again, and Nourish. Okay, I guess, I mean, 136 out of 205, that's pretty good. 
I feel like that should be fine for right now. I need more Zilchro anyway. So let's go and see if we can find that. All right, perfect. These are two of the ingredients that we need for my main um, elixir. So yeah, we're going to send and acquire more substances. We'll send both of our dudes. This should be pretty safe. Again, though, like the danger, I don't know why it's so high. We just healed this guy, so he should be fine. Oh my God. Yeah, there is a lot of enemies here. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, my first creature's getting attacked so much. And did I lose my creature? No, again, he's down to 26 freaking health, though. I hope that 10 Dezilltro was worth it. That's quite a bit, actually, so that's pretty good. All right, guys, I think that's a good time to wrap up this first episode here. My mad science lab is a lot more messy. I'm really going to have to clean this place up because we just you go through so many ingredients. These are all just empty for me doing things today. But yeah, I'm super loving everything about this game. The whole premise of it is just fantastic to me. So yeah, in the next one, I definitely want to get a few more creatures, but I really got to change those limbs around because the limbs seem to be a big aspect of this game. And well, we've only installed two of them. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping in the next episode we should have some super powerful creatures. Uh, but yeah, I just got to unfortunately heal this guy again now because he took so much damage uh, when I went out. I really got to focus more on the military and where they are because I took a lot of damage on those two missions and that probably was a pretty dumb idea. But yeah, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. As always, thanks for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one.